Greetings friends, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Rainbow Mage overlay. This is intended for 64 bits, but I will provide you with a 32 bit link as well. The first thing you'll need to do is install ACT, Advanced Combat Tracker. I'll link the installation video of that in the description below and in this annotation. Okay, now that you have ACT working, Let's check out this overlay. Uh, as you can see, um, it is much more appealing than that horrific black putrid box that ACT provides. Um, it's nice, clean, slick, thug life, yo. Um, Alright, so to get this overlay, it is fairly simple. Okay. So first thing you want to do is go to this Dropbox link in the description below or if you are running on 32 bits you want to check out the 32 bit link. Uh, this link is my personal folder with my custom high hit category. Uh, you want to download this. Um, when this pops up just yeah, close out of that. Um, you'll need to extract it so if you don't have a way to do that try 7-zip or WinRAR. Uh, those links will also be in the description below. Okay, so now that you've downloaded that, um, I always make a folder on my desktop in case I screw up. Uh, I'm dumb sometimes, so yeah, simple tasks are quite difficult. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can go ahead and make a new folder and name it Overlay. Uh, now once that's downloaded, uh, don't extract it just yet. What you need to do is you need to right click the folder and go down to Properties and at the bottom it should say Unblock. Make sure you click Unblock then apply and OK. Now, um, now once that's done, you can extract the folder into a new folder, uh, your overlay folder, or you can just simply put it into ACT. Um, yeah, like I said, I I always make a new folder, but uh, it's if you can just put it in ACT, that works too, because eventually it's gonna go there. <laughs> Okay, so now you should have the full streamer DX11 uh, inside the ACT folder. Okay, so once that folder is in there, you want to open up ACT and go under the plugins tab, then browse, then go under full streamer DX11 and click the overlay plugin.dll is towards the bottom and click open. Uh, once you do that, it should come up with overlay plugin.dll. Another thing that should pop up is the parser. It should say uh, no data to display or something along those lines. Uh, it might not be in the bottom right corner like mine is, it could be in the top left, um, the top right, or somewhere else on your screen. Okay, so now uh, you'll want to go over to the Overlay Plugin tab. If it comes up with Enmity or Spell Timer, I always hit Ignore. Uh, I don't use them, but if you want to uh, or are interested, uh, definitely feel free to. Um, your default parser may uh, also not look like mine, but uh, I'll show you how to change that in a minute. For now, you can uh, move your parser around simply by dragging it with left click. Uh, to change the size uh, of the parser, uh, it's kind of difficult to see sometimes, but there is a little doodad in the bottom right corner of the mini parse. Uh, when you hover over it, your uh, pointer will uh, change into two directional arrows. Um, simply click it and drag it to increase or decrease the size. And uh, wherever you decide to put it, uh, make sure you 
lock overlay and enable click through and you're solid okay uh, so let's tab back in and let's go give this dummy the business the warrior business Ugh. yeah okay uh, yeah so let's just make sure that it's parsing uh, that it's working correctly um, again your default skin may not look like mine um, but I will uh, show you how to change it um, so yeah uh, once it's parsing uh, let's change the skin okay so um, to change the skin you want to go under where it says URL and then click that, that doodad to the right and then you want to uh, find your DX11 folder uh, your overlay should be in uh, program files uh, ACT and then uh, full stream or DX11 just wherever you saved it uh, yours could be different but uh, so basically uh, you go to the resources tab and then all these um, all these are different skins mini uh, mini parse glow icon graph uh, yeah all these are the different skins that you can have uh, my custom high hit um, that has the max hit and highest hits um, but uh, not everybody might want that um, like if you're a healer uh, you may not give a shit um, but uh, yeah so that's what I personally have um, but there's a lot of different skins to choose from okay so let's say uh, I want this mini parse glow icon uh, see this one looks a little different uh, some of the information will be changed uh, on this one um, let's try a different one yeah so this one's very similar um, so if you want to actually change the information displayed you have to mess with the HTML um, but uh, uh, the damage now is different um, each skin will be a little different um, but yeah they're all I mean they're all pretty cool so but if for some reason uh, let's see if you go to uh, load a skin and it doesn't change immediately let's see okay yeah uh, just be sure to hit reload overlay uh, once or twice and you should be golden okay well um, yeah so that's pretty much it um, I'll go over a couple FAQs and troubleshoot a little bit just in case it's not working if for some reason it's not parsing at all you need to allow it through your firewall you need to make sure it is there and allow it through so you want to go to system and security uh, allow a program through Windows Firewall and you want to find it in there if it is not in there you want to go down to allow another program and find it and make sure that it is there uh, let's see another known issue is combatant rename uh, you need to make sure that it is completely empty a friend of mine renamed his character name from you in the parser to his in-game name and for some reason this created issues so for whatever reason it doesn't allow the mini parse to display correctly uh, you'll also want to run as administrator um, whenever you uh, run ACT um, sometimes this is a pain in the ass to install but hopefully I have simplified things as much as I can but if for whatever reason it does not work for you please leave a comment below and I will try to get back with you as fast as I can with an answer um, but yeah guys that's all I got so I hope this video was helpful and will lead to many battles parsed in style